once again welcome to my channel tech and art so i am going to discuss with you how to start the sql server management studio ssms through the help of batch file how to create a batch file to start the sql server management studio so normally to avoid go to each server and do the con connection and then start the sql server management studio we can use the jump server and from the jump server itself we can connect the sql server instances okay with for the multiple environments nowadays we have we not installed sql server management studio not configured on each server actually so through the jump server we can connect all the sql server instance and that's also it's helpful if you have created a batch file no need to start the sql server management studio again and again just create a shortcut icon and just do the simple click one click and your sql server management studio will be open like other folder so for that you need to create a batch file so i will show you how to do that only one simple statement simple script i have already created my batch file i will tell you how to do that actually so if you go and edit and see the batch file script so what need to change for your environment in in according to your input variables only the things is where the ssms is placed okay so you just find it the ssms where is placed on your local uh, machine or local jump server and placed it here and save it as a dot bat extension batch file for batch file extension is dot bat okay no need to change anything you just write on this script and find it your ssms is where is the e executable files placed it and save it as a dot bat i will show you see the extension is of this file is dot bat okay now if you click on if you do the double click it will ask you the credential of your machine your computer and it will open the sql server management studio so if i am giving the here my credential right away it will start opening the sql server management studio as you can see the it's starting right so this is very very helpful to start the sql server now you can see the management studio is started we can connect the any instance you can change the instance from here and you can connect your environment okay one more thing i am going to tell you don't skip so let me close this window rather than going to you know inside the folder do that you can create a shortcut also what i told you the shortcut icon okay right click create shortcut okay now shortcut is done now you can change it the icon of this shortcut you can place this shortcut to your desktop whatever and i'm going to change the icon i'm going to select the icon okay so let me browse this uh, i think uh, this is the my location let me take this location okay where it is go one back i think here you will get the location of this why i am not getting not sure where it is somewhere here only extension template yeah as you can see i got it the location 
okay you select this location so the icon sorry and just click on ok apply ok so see now your shortcut is ready so you can place it anywhere where you want to place your desktop and icon just do one click and if you do the one click it will ask your credential and give the credential and it will immediately start the your sql server management studio so no need to do again and again and you, you can keep it open as as it is whenever it's used no need to close the management studio this is the beauty of this batch file you just simply keep it like this whenever it's required to connect the any instance you just do the connection and it will start working so hope you got my points how to create a batch file i am modify i will place this script to description as well you can take it and you can write it it's a simple script you only need to place uh, your variable where is placed in your machine the sql server manage studio exe file that's it and save it as a .bat file extension thank you guys i will come in another session with uh, some more details till then bye bye thank you